What was it? Bro! What was bro, that? Bro. What was that? What bro, was that? The caca, bro. Look what? at the caca, bro. What's up, JK fam? And we back with another Kaka video. Guys, today is it's a Halloween a special week. Special week. Kaka videos. Kaka videos you every know? six o'clock at night for you guys. This one is a special request, guys. We I've seen I've seen a lot uh, a lot of comments guy, saying this guy's yeah Jens plus yeah. this guy's channel slapped ham. Slap this is slapped ham that we're doing. Yeah, bro. So the one obviously we, we were trying to be a little we different like, in noobs bro. and stuff like that. We wanted a gin video. Bro. We wanted a gin video specifically what for is Halloween. Gin, bro? Gin is like a, 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 demonic an, bullshit. an evil entity. Yeah, demonic bullshit, bro. bro. If you look in the dictionary, you won't see demonic bullshit. You're gonna see an entity that's evil. That's demonic bullshit, bro. Pretty much. Jesus but after Christ. this, we're gonna do another short film. I think we're, we're having a good time with these short, short films. films. Yeah, ballerina. It's called ballerina. Oh, bro, we're gonna do ballet. Um, that must hurt, bro. Can you do that? No, nah, you. Yeah. I I make my eggs like that. Uh oh. And stay tuned this week. Every like we said, every day. Because it's Halloween, we want to do caca with you guys and we want to give you uh, the best scare as we could. So make sure you get your Let's popcorns go. ready, get your headphones. That's it. Or make sure candies. you put the volume high on your TV. Tacos. Oh, tacos are big boom right now, bro. Yo, Burritos boy, and tacos, bro. bro. Burritos. Mm. Mm. All right, let's go let's see. Go. This is the first. This is the first time we're doing slap ham. First time, let's go. All right, we're about to get slapped. How are you doing? I'm Callan, and this is slap Hi, ham. Cal. With the JK Today Bills. we're looking at some mysterious videos that will make you question everything. Okay. But as always, before we dive into these fascinating stories, remember to hit that subscribe button for more creepy content just like this. Okay. It looks like you have a British version of me. Nice logo. A spirit of Arabic origin known as the jinn is said to take many f Arabic origin, bro. So they come from Arabic. Arabic. Jesus Christ, bro. The origin of what is today known in the Western world as a genie, the jinn predates Islam, yet is mentioned wow. throughout the Quran. Beliefs as to the exact forms jinns can take differ drastically. Jinns are often thought to be spirits. As the origin of their name can be conflated with a general term for demons, they often carry the same connotation. It, bro. Demonic However, bullshit. a commonly accepted belief regarding jinns is that they're neither good nor evil and thus must be judged in the afterlife the same wow. as humans. So you guys in were fact, learning. these theories also describe jinns as human-like creatures, faced with making the same choices as humans and proliferating what? in the same way. On the other hand, many describe jinns as shapeless and menacing shadows. These evil spirits can be summoned in order to perform the dark bidding of evildoers. A combination of this theory posits that jinns act as shapeshifters, Yo. taking the forms of storms, shadows, humans, and animals whenever the need arises. In folklore, jinns are often blamed for common mental illnesses and act to take advantage of the darkness in one's heart, leading them astray. <laughs> Uploaded to YouTube by user NSNiz6, this video depicts a man searching through an abandoned building in Saudi Arabia. Walking through the abandoned site, it becomes clear very quickly that something's off within the building. Put the audio, bro. <laughs> okay. Eerie and empty, the old secretariat building seems just like the place one would expect to see a series of jinn sightings. Frequently scared by odd occurrences happening around him, it seems there's a malevolent spirit in the building following the man around. <clears throat> odd banging sounds are heard bro. until the very end of the video, when a spirit or possible jinn <coughs> appears to guide Sorry. the man to a specific room by opening a door for him. <laughs> Oh, bro. Saying bro. what sounds like a prayer to drive away the jinn, the man enters the room only to be frightened by a banging box nearby. 
حسبي الله ونعم الوكيل فيك اذا كنت خادم سحر حسبي الله ونعم الوكيل فيكم Finally making his way outside, the camera points to an open window near the top of the building. The shutters of the window appear to open and close, swinging back and forth, either by themselves or with the help of the jinn tormenting the man behind the camera. In a similar video uploaded to YouTube by user Abdullah Al Ambari, the explorer makes his way through an abandoned building only to catch sight of a possible jinn. Making his way through the creepily abandoned building, things begin to go awry very quickly. Turning a corner when walking through to another room, the outline of a dark face peeks out that? from the doorway is visible. You saw that guys? Bro, it's scary, but he doesn't do it like Nuke. Bro. No, no, it doesn't do it like Nuke. I don't, I don't like when they describe too much. Let the video play, you know? Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, let the video play. Let us captivate. Because now he's explaining everything he's doing. We understand the camera's going to turn left. You don't have to explain that. Yeah, I want like new. Yeah, bro. bro. He used to make his way through the building, unprepared for the inevitable gin sightings. And it's coming. the one layer of like eerie music that's annoying, I find. Uh, yeah. Guys, take notes. Take notes. If you guys want to edit, man, these are important key factors, man. Nukes does it well. He's way... <laughs> Stopping to admire an open window, the man reflects on the beauty of the moon. It's just then, however, that he notices something inexplicably odd. The moon has suddenly disappeared. Okay, yeah, it's a... What the fuck? Quickly, the man states he feels an ominous presence in the building, almost as though he's entered another realm entirely. Possibly mm. the realm of the jinn itself. No way. Rounding the corner, it seems as though the jinn has chosen to make itself known as known. a trap door opens in the floor nearby. Where? Run! Get the hell out! No, no, he's my life. Get out! Now, the man continues making his way through the abandoned building. Walking down a hall, the man spots a chair that moves on its own. With no one visible nearby, this- Bro, let the video play, bro. Don't explain everything you see. You're not creative either way. That's why. Bro, this is gonna be a long video, gonna... bro. You wanna choose something else, bro? Bro, pick another thing, Thank bro. you, man. Yo, sorry, guys. I, I, it's interesting. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's interesting, very... but Don't get me wrong, but don't, don't, uh, don't do the... Uh... Okay. Don't describe I'm going back bro. to nukes, man. I'm going back to nukes, bro. Five ghost videos that will scare the heck out of you, bro. All right? It's 23 minutes, bro. It's 23 so minutes, go. man. Let's go. Because I, I, I'm not a big fan of too, uh, too descriptive. Don't like, describe, bro. Let the video play, bro. Cross is about to speak. We need the audio. We need everything like, like... John's about to press play. Let's go. Already, I feel comfortable. Oh, I'm go. Is... There you go. There you go. John, bro. A cry for help. The Foreman brothers, Josh, Sean, and Rocky, from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare, were contacted by a mother and daughter who claimed to be living in a haunted apartment in Bucyrus, Ohio. The apartment has a dark history, as two women and a little girl tragically lost their lives inside its walls. One That's month sad. after moving in, Heidi and Callie Prater begin to experience terrifying paranormal activity in their new home. Callie says that when she's upstairs, the strong smell of sulfur often makes her feel sick. She and her mother Heidi have heard footsteps and chilling screeches in the night. No. They say that lights turn on and off by themselves and that they have seen multiple unexplained shadows. There's times, like I said, you can hear people walking up and down the steps, but you can definitely hear certain screeches, certain noises. Since we've moved in here, we've had noises all the time upstairs, lights shut off, been touched, seen a lot of shadows. Visitors to the house have had similar haunting experiences. Ever since I've been coming over here, I get really, really bad negative vibes. Lights have turned off on their own. Shadow figures walk through the rooms, and it's honestly kind of scary. We've heard the little girl call out mommy. And I never was a believer in this whole paranormal stuff until I moved out here and seen it with my own eyes. It's just, I just really don't like being here. Do you want to leave? Mm. Yeah. Oh, that guy's so scared, bro. Yeah. Thank you. 
Heidi Prater explains in an interview with the Foreman Brothers how it breaks her heart sometimes to hear the unexplained voice of a little girl calling out to her mother. In the same interview, they hear something truly chilling. It breaks my heart, you know, to think this little girl, and you can hear her hollering for her mommy. Keep hearing somebody saying mommy. Yo. She is here, and she is looking for her mommy. I thought I just heard somebody say mommy. Did you hear that? Yeah. It breaks my heart that she's still here, wandering around looking for her mommy. It <laughs> makes me want to cry. Must be tough, bro. After the emotional interview, the Foreman brothers begin their investigation to find out exactly who or what is, is haunting the Prater's bro? home. If you're in this house, can you communicate with us? Give us a sign you're in here. Oh, shit. Bro, what the fuck was that? Did you bro? hear that? Can you come out here with us? Yeah. It's upstairs. The mysterious sounds continue to be heard throughout their investigation, but nothing compares to what happens next. Oh the my family God. that lives here say that they see shadows, hear footsteps, loud banging, the voice of a little girl. And this is the room that we were shooting the interviews earlier and heard the little girl yell, Mommy. Um, we believe that there you know, were, may have been victims in this room. Oh. Little girl. Um. Oh. Um. Can you talk louder? Oh. No. The high pitched voice of a little girl seems to be desperately calling out for help. Help me understand what happened the night of February 13th, 1994. Oh, no way. What, you think there's a evil entity and, and a, a little girl? It's the mommy and the daughter, bro. What if what the mommy is not there? If she's yelling for mommy, mommy should be there, no? Yeah, but the mommy's gonna appear soon, bro. Guaranteed, bro. God, I hope my audio is picking this up. Been in over probably 400 haunted locations. Done hundreds of residential cases. And I have never in my life experienced something like this before, ever. Could this be the ghost of the little girl that met her tragic end inside the house? Let me know what you think. Mm. Be sure to check out the full video over on the YouTube channel, video, Paranormal bro. Nightmare like TV Series. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok? TikTok, TikTok user Pershka recorded a quick video intending to show her noisy ice machine on TikTok. But when she was about to post it, she noticed something truly chilling. Did you see it? Right before she flips on the light switch, no. what looks like a little girl can be seen standing right next to the ice machine. Bro, bro, the, the light ca -ca, comes bro, on, the ca -ca, bro. no one there. Is it just a trick of the light? Or could it be a TikTok Fuck, hoax? Come on, I just wish the camera I leave it to you to decide. Bro, that's crazy, TikTok man. TikTok user Bike Kill nice. and his friends are exploring a bro, creepy old abandoned that was tunnel. Good, bro. Then, this happens. What happened? Yeah. It's like a boy. 
There's no one here. This is not a joke. What the f***? What is that? I don't know, dude. What the f***? That's twice. Whoa. The audio is so high, and then the audio fucking vanishes, bro. Uh, bro, go bounce the fuck out, bro. How can you go bounce the fuck out, bro? Bro, it sounds like the kids are kidnapped in there, bro. Joe's doing his TM stuff. Dude, Joe's fucking connecting. And then they took the flashlight and they pointed directly at the thing. <laughs> the voice, like, come on, guys. This guy knows what he's doing. No? Seemed like something almost like it moved. I could feel something move, move by. I was like, a wind. oh, it was loud, weird, bro. Um, and it would die down. Excuse me. And then it would, then it would get quiet down and come back and get louder and louder. And we we're here. We sit there for yeah. ten minutes listening to it. Oh yeah. Well, that you're getting eaten or something. The scary sound of screaming voices echo through the abandoned tunnel. Bike Kill says he has no idea what the voices could be and believes that the tunnel is haunted. But what do you think those sounds could have been? It's, it's disturbing, bro. It's disturbing. Another TikTok oh. user that goes by the name of Julian R. Angel 925 claims that his co worker caught this next video on camera while at work. shadow figure can be seen lurking in the corner of what looks to be a large banquet hall. Now like most TikTok clips, there is no extra information about where this was filmed or what happened next. So is it real or is it just another TikTok hoax? Whatever what do you it think? is, it's good. It's Chernobyl. Ukrainian YouTuber Vlad Reznov and his friends do a challenge for YouTube to spend the night in an abandoned village in the Chernobyl exclusion no, 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 zone. No, 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 you don't do now, that. Now, the exclusion zone's purpose is to restrict access to hazardous areas around the dangerous Chernobyl nuclear power plant. In recent bruh. years, this area has spiked the interest Bumper of cars, tourists bruh. and has been accessible for safe tours and explorations with Ukrainian tour operators. However, Individual parties are still prohibited to access the area and can receive severe criminal penalties and fines. Because Vlad Reznov and his friends want to explore at night, they are very careful to avoid Ukrainian authorities. Oh. First, they explore the abandoned village and then they decide to get some sleep in one of the old decaying buildings. There's no way, guys. But they Why? don't sleep long. Vlad <laughs> wakes up to bizarre sounds coming from the remote woods surrounding the building. Obviously. <laughs> What happened? I don't know what happened, bro. Пацаны, пацаны, подъем. Пацаны, водим, блин. Чувак, там что-то лазит. Где? Я где-то сейчас на улице что лазит. Ветка упала, я слышал. Я не знаю, там что лазит. Чувак, я видел, что я тебе отвечаю, я снял это на видео. Ну ты слышал, как лес гудит, что ты гонишь, блин? Пацан, я, я снял это на видео, это не серьезно. Fuck, what did you see, man? Да какой That's пранк, wrong. чувак, я тебе отвечаю, я там что-то видел. Ну где ты видишь? Там, вот там в конце, где-то в углу. Дай там. Вот там сидел, вот там. 
Ну что там нету? А там, вот, вот туда, вот как раз туда побежал. Ну нету там ничего. Чувак, я там что-то видел, я тебе отвечаю. Я тут спать не буду. Будешь, потому что нам завтра останавливают. Чувак, блин. Ты понимаешь, что там что-то было, я тебе отвечаю. Я не шучу. Пиздец, Конечно. он мне просто не верит, реально, я не знаю. Я это видео и дома пересмотрю, потому что я реально что-то видел. Ты видел или видео видел? Чувак, я видел. Пиздец. Ну, я тебе отвечаю, если у нас ночью сожрет, это твоя вина. Я вот только, когда в туалет ходил, вот такую крысу видел. Угу, это не крыса была. А кто? Либо животное. Блин, она была здоровой, похожа на человека. Now, I can't really make out anything in the video here, Me but too, Vlad bro. seems to be very spooked by something he saw out in the woods. Maybe something he didn't catch on camera. Terrified, he wakes up his friend, but his fellow explorer just thinks that Vlad is playing a prank. But then, this, this happened. happened. Okay, let's go. Тихо, тихо, слушай, 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 тише. Вот, все, 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 нет You saw. It's right there, bro. Yeah, but play, play. No. Bro. Yo. Bro. Guys. Bro, let it play, let it do play. One more time. Luke is gonna do it slow-mo, bro. Yeah, but John wants slow-mo. No, let's go. A pale figure can be seen at the window giving Yo, Vlad guys. and his friends the scare of their life. They decide to skip their plans to stay the night and just get out of there. Good idea. Vlad seems to think that they were attacked by a Chernobyl mutant man. But what do you think? Could this be the ghost of someone who didn't survive the Chernobyl tragedy and is could still be. haunting the premises? Yeah, Or be. is it simply a really pale man trying to give them oh. a good scare? Bro, that you was decide. good. Very good. That was good. I like, I like this one because the guy saw it, right? Yeah. He's telling his friends, like, yo, bro, like, seriously. The guy's like, no, bro. It was a rat, bro. What rat, bro? How, what kind of rat can you get this big, bro? You could, bro. Seriously? New York City, bro. Seriously, this big? Yeah, bro. Serious, bro. Uh, you don't oh, fuck okay, around, bro. Okay, Six okay. nine, bro. Six nine is this big, bro? It's still big, bro. I guess. Trying to get them a good scare, you decide. Bro, I'm glad we saw something, dog. Brentwood haunting. Back in the early 1900s, Clarence Curtis McCorsley built a beautiful Victorian home in Little River, It'd South be, Carolina, bro. for him and his wife Essie. Unfortunately, Clarence met an untimely death at the age of 40. Left all alone. The widowed Essie transformed her home into a bed and breakfast for traveling salesmen and fishermen to spend the night. That's cool. There were rumors that Essie was often visited by the ghost of her late husband. The Brentwood house remained in Essie's possession until her death in 1974. Today, the Brentwood home is owned by French master chef Eric Masson and his wife Kim. They reopened Masson. the estate as the Brentwood restaurant and wine bistro. The skeptical new owners never really believed in the paranormal. I'm always looking for validation because it's just so hard to believe that this stuff happens and it's hard to believe that it's a ghost. No, you don't really to believe. Uh, in my logic. That is, until strange things started happening around their restaurant. That's the it. The Masons would hear the mysterious loud sighs of a woman when no one was around. Glasses and silverware would fall without explanation. Even stranger, guests of the restaurant would be locked in the bathroom by something <laughs> That's cool. and devices would suddenly turn on by themselves. Many of the restaurant employees have witnessed paranormal activity and even some of the customers have scary stories of their own. Many claim to have seen a tall, dark figure in shadowy corners of the restaurant. It is believed that the ghosts of Clarence and Essie McCorsley still haunt the Brentwood restaurant.
Bro, we have to go Author eat Stephen there, bro. Lancap. That would be so interesting, bro. That'd be sick. That'd be you just eating, bro. You see the shadow? Yeah, bro. You're here, bro. Sit yeah, down. Have, some, have a place for some potatoes, bro. Taking a potatoes. particular interest in the haunting of the Brentwood Wine potatoes, Bistro. Bro. Over the years, he has interviewed witnesses to hear their bizarre stories and has done many investigations to find paranormal evidence. Late one night, Stephen and a small team of paranormal investigators are checking out the restaurant. Right after they begin filming, they hear a loud bang coming from the kitchen. Why are you laughing, bro? <laughs> Holy sh Hey! Hey! How are you tonight? Holy cow, I think my heart just skipped like 50 beats. The restaurant surveillance footage shows a glass mysteriously falling on the floor as investigators Eddie and Tina enter the kitchen. Although startled by the chilling experience, they continue their investigation. In the downstairs men's room, uh, We've had some issues with this room tonight. Um, the door is wanting to open on its own, even though it's latched shut. Can you open that door for me? It'd be really, really cool if you could open that door. Bruh. 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 Thank you. Not close the door. The strange activity doesn't stop as random things continue to mysteriously fall on the floor and the Jesus restaurant's Christ. dumbwaiter starts moving up and down on its own. Then things get truly bizarre. So is there anybody up here that wants to say hello? Make their presence known to us? Well, I really would love to see the tall guy tonight. Yeah. Yeah, it's the tall guy here. That's them. So is there anybody up here that wants to say hello? Make their presence known to us? Noah, I really would love to see the tall guy tonight. He's there, buddy. Yeah, is the tall guy here? Where is it, bro? That's them. Do you hear a whirling noise? Mm -hmm. What are we looking at? Where is that, eh? That was them. The mysterious figure of a man wearing a fisherman's slicker or pea coat seems to be quietly moving in the background oh as they talk. Stephen oh. Lancaster didn't notice the strange apparition at the time wow. and only discovered it later bro. when he reviewed wow. the footage. Tell me you guys so did Stephen and a team of paranormal investigators capture the ghosts of the posture, the yeah, slowness, bro. bro. Like you want the watching. tall man? You want the tall man? I am the tall. I can't be the tall man because. Can't shut up, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. Forever haunting their old home? You decide. Watch you Stephen decide. Lancaster's full documentary investigation of the Brentwood Wine Bistro over on his YouTube channel, Label 13. Hiding in plain sight. What? One day, Facebook user Abiud Hernandez Alvarez is sitting at his computer. Guys, this, this week guy is good. This, this week guy. Is good is gold bro. Yeah. when he starts to hear strange unexplained sounds coming from his bedroom he grabs his phone and starts recording that's a teddy bear guy it is yeah. his old house i guess so costa no, the same house no, it looks like the same house. the gym not the bedroom Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a very scary one, guys. I think it's his old house. Oh do not open the door. So do it. Stop it! Oh my god. 
Hermes. When he finds no one at the door and after a few other strange occurrences, Abiyud begins to suspect that there might be something paranormal going on in his apartment. It's his old to house. Try to collect yeah. proof. It's his old one and I think it's the beginning of everything. Yeah, it followed him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you possess family and friends. For those who don't haven't seen any anything of this guy, bro, we did one. The, you're gonna see it either way. Bro. Either way, during this week we did it a bunch of th well, one thing from him and previous times too. We, yeah, bro, this guy is. He's possessed. He's teddy bear. Keeps disappearing. They're gonna see it, bro. Stop Going explaining, bro. To try to collect proof to show his family and friends, he sets up a camera to record his home while he's at work. He's gonna see it. <laughs> Bro, wow, smack your bro, bro. We just lost 10 subscribers, bro. No, wow, bro. Because of your stupidity. No, it's your stupidity, bro. Shut and the fuck friends, up. He sets Madden. up a camera to record his home while he's at work. When he checks the video, he's shocked by what he finds. <laughs> no, it's the same house, bro. The way the guitar is placed. It's not the same house. Oh my god, bro. That's a punching bag, no? Yeah. Oh! oh my god, I don't like this girl, bro. Dude, touch the guitar. You better not touch the guitar, man. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Ah! It's almost as if someone or something invisible is walking through Abiyud's apartment. Cut to days later. As Abiyud is relaxing at home late one night. I still personally feel like it's an ex-girlfriend, bro. His ex-girlfriend? Truly yeah. bizarre. The orbs. Yeah, you see a lot of orbs. Bro. Don't go, don't go. Fast, fast. Bro, what was that? That's a shadow, right? Oh, oh. Ah, sí, bro. What is this guy? Nita, se escucha aquí adentro. Se escucha como la chamba. Pero, pues. A ver, voy a levantarme. Se escucha aquí afuera. You sure you're going to open the door very good? No, no. It's the same house, I think. I think so, bro. Escucha prácticamente cómo está caminando. Bro, I don't like this man. Exactly. No sé si abrió o cerró la puerta de la cocina. Too much turning, bro. Yeah, bro, stop fucking turning, bro. Small kitchen, bro. That's a kitchen. Yeah. No, 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 no. Footsteps, bro. Ah! Abiyud posted the videos on Facebook with the message that he doesn't actually mind the creepy activity. He says that he just wants to share his experiences. So, is Abiyud's apartment haunted by an invisible ghost? Or is it all just... Well, especially where we're at right now, I don't think he... Uh, <laughs> ...an elaborate hoax. I don't know about you, you guys, guys. Thanks but for watching. Hearing those footsteps was scared the shit out of me, yeah, bro. bro like, this is like right there, bro. Yeah, but look, you can suggest any video you've that, seen bro. for the top five at nukestop5 at gmail.com. All right, that was really good. That bro. was a good one. That was, that was really a good one good. compared to the one we started. Yeah, the one we started was cheesy, man. 
and he opened the window. I just, I don't mind. Yeah, yes, okay, an okay voice. Uh, he has an okay old voice. Slam beef, whatever his name is. I just but, feel like you don't, you don't have to describe everything you see. It's not you're not creative in that level right now. Let the know? video play, bro. Let, the, let us experience it. So as we said, we are excited because now we finished. You know our top video. Now we're jumping okay, into scary a movie. short go, go. film. Ballerina. Ballerina. Let's, Let's go, go, guys. Let's do this, man. Type it here. Seven minutes, in. bro. And then I gotta go home, bro. Yeah, man. Like, really home. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Bro, long stairs, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. It's pre-workout before she starts ballerina. My boy, bro. Get the legs work. Yeah. AirPods on deck, bro. Huh. Huh. Is it scary? I don't know, bro. I've never seen this, bro. What's happening, bro? What is that? Four ballerina shoes, right? Oh shit, like that, eh? Yo, that must hurt, bro. Imagine. Okay, Costa. That's crazy though, huh? That must hurt, bro. Can you do that? No, you? Yeah. I, I make my eggs like that. Uh-oh. Did Some... you say you make your eggs like that? That's how I, uh... <laughs> oh! Oh. That was sick! What happened? Bro, you didn't see that? No. Look at the way the, the camera, they look at each other. Okay. That was weird. Like a delay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, there was a little delay. There was a delay. I think so. Right? Yeah. That's what she's checking now. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. Well, wow, very interesting, guys. Why are you going back? Leave, bro. Okay.
the hell is happening here, guys? She can't do it. Sick, but my hands hurt, bro. Like, fucking. So I'm squeezing too tight. That is messed up. Bro. That is messed up. Some people have fucked up ideas, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is still going, man, with the credits, man. Fine, we have to make sure it fills, bro. We're good like this, man. Music was good though. Yeah, I like the music. Yeah, yeah. Soundtrack, wow, you're talking about music right there, bro. I Ghost Up by Nicholas and Jean. That's it, bro. And I think that's it. Gotta okay, score instruments by Cynthia. Wait, bro, we have to watch the whole thing until it's done. It's done, bro. It's not done until the credits are done. It's done, bro. Don't take it out, don't take it out, don't take it out. Oh, bro, no more headphones. It was good, bro. That was very interesting. Well, well filmed, because it's hard to film uh, mirror shots. But yeah, man, the camera you angles know? are good. I like the visual effects shots, because at one point the camera is using the hand, the hand was like here. So you didn't see the, the broken. Oh, it's sure. Yeah, then you, then you see it, though. Then you see it, so it was really nice to hit, and very nice job. I really like the talent. I really feel like, you know, her confusion was real. Like, like, yeah, felt, no. uh, but like, bro, just leave, bro. Oh my God, man. If you see that your reflection is, bro, bounce the bro, fuck out, man, bro. It doesn't look like you, so get the hell out, man. Guys, we love Yo, you guys, guys so much. Thank you for, for watching the video. If That's you enjoyed it, it make sure you click on the like button. I hope you guys are having a scary week. Hopefully you're all enjoying it. And, 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 and there's tuned, more to bro. come, so make sure you tune guys, in. But if you're new to this channel, make, make sure, sure to subscribe, like, like, comment, the whole package. But the JK bros, we gotta go. We'll see you in the next video.